It's been a full 24 hours since a stunning defeat in city council. Mayor Lenny Curry worked with the Jacksonville Jaguars on a deal to develop an area near the stadium. Yeah, that Lot J proposal, it passed with 15 votes in a meeting last week. But in a final vote last night, only 12 council members voted yes, and the deal needed 13. Mayor Curry says he takes it personally. A majority of city council voted yes for this Lot J development proposal, a development that would add an entertainment district to the area near the stadium. It would also have added an expense of hundreds of millions of dollars. Mayor Lenny Curry pushed hard for the deal. It's a loss for Jacksonville. Um, it's a loss for what would have been a transformational project downtown. Curry spoke with reporters about his disappointment and wasn't upset with all the council members who voted no. He said he wouldn't name names, but he believes it wasn't motivated by what's best for Jacksonville. Anybody that watched that meeting last night could see that it, it's pretty clear that there were some no votes that were about uh, personalities. And that's just really unfortunate. Among the votes that turned from yes last week to no, Garrett Dennis, a rival to the mayor, he told us on the morning show it was both about the facts of the deal and how it came together in his view. It was bad from the start. It was uh, it was cloaked in secrecy. Uh, this deal had been worked on in uh, for two years, and we received a deal that heavily favored uh, the developer, not the, the, the taxpayers, not the city of Jacksonville. And, uh, you know, pretty much that was the decision. The Jaguars president says that's it. The book is closed on Lot J development. Mark Lamping says Shad Khan's business team will look to the shipyards once again. And Curry used a sports analogy to say he's not finished. A real test of an individual and a real test of a team is what do you do when everything doesn't go your way? Uh, I told my team last night that I was incredibly proud of the work that they did, the deal that they put together. They fought to get this across the finish line, and it didn't happen. I spoke with council member Joyce Morgan tonight by phone. She also changed her vote from yes last week to no last night. And she told me this evening that she's sorry the deal didn't get done. But for her, the bread box alone was a deal breaker.